Well, first map of the day is this red FN2 Civic. Richard's just warming it up. Let's get cracking. Woo! Okay, so initial power undone and it's made 211 brake horsepower. Now it's got some modifications. It's got this very warm HKS induction kit. It's got a Jap Speed 4 to 1 manifold decat and also a Miltec exhaust system. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna flash an Ecutech license onto the stock ECU. That gives us the ability to data log and start tuning, which Richard will do. Um, and then we'll get cracking. Now, the biggest power gain we're going to see today is going to be between, obviously, stock as it is now and our initial base file that's going to go on. And then at that point, which is going to start tuning, timing and fueling and so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah, let's get cracking lacking. Check this out. I like this grill. Red FN2. Hey, Civic. Jensen, what did I say earlier? When you said what colour do you think it'll be, I said red, didn't yeah. I? Just because yeah. they're all red. Yeah, they're all red. Yeah. They're all red, apart from my one, which is white one. Yeah. They're all but red. On, a, on, a, on, a, uh, on an average scale, we see mainly red, don't we? So I suppose I did have the advantage. Red there, ones I go guess. faster. Do they? Yeah. I don't think they do. They do. You sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Right, so this one, it had a 4 to 1 jack speed manifold, it has a HKS uh, exhaust system, which you know obviously no, no, you no, don't no, 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 sorry? No, 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 no. HKS induction kit. Oh, sorry. HKS induction kit, get it right, it was a Miltec Mil catback, back. which is, as you know, is not our favourite, twin exit, very small exit on it. Um, did what we expected to do around the 215-216 mark. To that HKS induction kit was hot before we even put it on the dyno. Yeah, I'd like to. I'm going to get one of them. I keep meaning to do it and I haven't done it. So I'm going to order one of them uh, temperature probes oh, so you yeah. can see what the temperature is. They'd love that. And that I'd like to see what the... Uh, comment heat... below, comment below in the, in the comment section that you want to see Richard with a thermometer up in. Uh, not up me. Oh, was that not what we were talking about? No, we were talking about oh. measuring... I was talking about measuring the temperature. Oh, I got the... excited. Measuring the temperature of the induction kit as well. Yeah, as, uh, well, so it looks like Predator. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was doing. So you can say that obviously this is really hot. This is hot. This one is not so hot. Yeah. I like it. A, a, hot, a hot air induction kit. I like hot air. I want a hot air scoop. Yeah. Hong Kong hot air. Yeah. Taiwanese Hong Kong mm, hot, hot air. air. Yeah. Wu Tang waste gate. Yeah. None of that. None of that. Yes, yeah, so FN2 and um, started uh, started about 2.11, finished on 2.17, but as you know, uh, it's made gains in the mid-range between 25 and 30 brake horsepower, transformed this car, switchable maps, launch control, as you heard on the bit of video just before this bit, um, auto blip, down throttle. Yeah, and uh, no lift shift. No lift shift. It's got all sorts and it's a dream. And like I said, with my own FN2, once I'd had the Ecotech software put on it, it felt more like I was more connected to the car. It was just more fun to drive. I yeah, had more control over it. It's really nice because it. you get the features and the customer has things to do with the steering wheel and whatever. So I think, like you say, it always makes it more drivable and more pleasurable for the customer. You get more for their, their money as well, don't they? Say pleasurable, yeah. Pleasurable. <laughs> right, shall we have a graph? Yes, come on, because I've got biscuits to eat. So, red line is as she came in, blue line is as she leaves. And as you can see, there's power across the rev range there. We've made some in the midsection as we lower the VTEC, extended the rev range out to 86. Yeah, that's going to be drivability, uh, miles of fun. He's going to enjoy it. It's going to transform that car, I guarantee it. So, he's going to love it. Um, so, we finish on 216, which is 182 at the wheels. So thanks for watching to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. I think the comment, I think that the comment that I want or the code word could be uh, temp. Uh, what thermometer? I think thermometer. What what what, what would you call one of those thermo gun type things? It's a thermometer, isn't it? It's just, it's just a laser infrared thermometer. I don't know. I don't know. But thanks for watching to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we'll see you on the next one. Won't we, Jensen? We will indeed. Good man. Yeah. Look, he's got it. <laughs> Pretty fast. And that's another one done. What a beautiful car. Richard's just explaining how to use the launch control, adjustable launch control, switchable maps, things like that. And we'll see. And we'll see this one again for more modifications, I'm sure. Peace out, guys.